Immigration from Okinawa began in 1900. Okinawan immigrants brought with them their own customs and language, which were different from the mainland Japanese immigrants. As the newest arrivals coming in smaller numbers than earlier Japanese immigrants, Okinawan immigrants experienced discrimination and ostracism in many ways. It was then understandable that they did not feel welcome in already established Jodo Shinshu temples. This situation began to change in 1931 when Shiro Yoshimori of Okinawan ancestry received his ordination as a Hongguanji minister. He had originally arrived in Hawaii as a pharmacist but returned to Japan to prepare for the ministry after learning about the teachings of Shinran Shonen. His first assignment was at Waipahu Hongguanji. By 1936, Reverend Yoshimori realized the need for spiritual sustenance among Okinawan immigrants and their families. Many had very little background in Buddhist teachings. He began meeting regularly for services with a few Okinawan followers in private homes. As the group of Okinawan followers grew in size and enthusiasm, they began to envision their own temple. First, they wanted a place to receive further spiritual guidance in Shin Buddhist teachings. Second, they wished for a haven where Uchinanshu could gather to support each other and perpetuate their culture. In September 1938, a new temple was dedicated on Hoftailing Street with the support of the Hongguanji community. After careful consideration, the temple was named Jikuen, meaning Garden of the Compassionate Light and Wisdom of Amida Buddha. A second consideration gave the name of the temple an added distinction. Jikuen is the only Hongguanji temple in Hawaii that does not have its location as part of its official name. It was deemed inappropriate to follow accepted practice and name the temple Kalihi Hongguanji. Its Uchinanshu members came from all over the island, Kaneohe, Waimanalo, Waialai, Kaimaki, and Kapuhulu. Hence, a place name was omitted and it was named Jikuen Hongguanji in recognition of this fact. Reverend Yoshimori, joined by his nephew, Reverend Jikai Yamasato, established a thriving temple community. They held regular services, instituted a Sunday school, conducted outreach projects in Kalihi Mauka and Wailai, organized a Buddhist women's association, taught Japanese language at night, issued publications, and helped members arrange trips to Okinawa. Reverend Yoshimori left for a trip to Japan in June 1941, and Reverend Yamasato became the resident minister. However, Rising tensions in Japan-American relations prevented Reverend Yoshimori from returning to Hawaii. When World War II began in December 1941, Reverend Yamasato, along with other Buddhist ministers, were sent to internment camps on the mainland, effectively closing down all Buddhist temples in Hawaii. However, Jikuen's leaders, believing deeply in the constitutional protections of freedom of religion, boldly petitioned the military governor to allow Jikuen to reopen. The leaders pressed their case that religion had nothing to do with nationality, ethnicity, or patriotism, and placed their profound trust in the constitution and the democratic process. Permission was granted making Jikwen the first temple on Oahu to remain open during the war. Mr. Sohei Miyasato, Jikwen's first temple president, moved his family into temporary quarters in the social hall and kept Jikwen going with regular services, Sunday school, and memorials. He was assisted by Reverend Ernest Hunt. 
After Reverend Yamasato was released from internment in 1945, he resumed his position as minister and served a long and fruitful 43-year tenure. Under his guidance, Jikuen grew into a vital center of religious and Okinawan cultural activities. In 1946, Hui Makaala, one of the founding Okinawan community organizations, held its first meeting at Jikuen. Immediately after World War II ended, Jikuen became the center for huge relief efforts to aid Okinawa devastated during the Battle of Okinawa. Tons of clothing and food and thousands of dollars were collected and sent to help kinfolk and friends in war-torn Okinawa. One such effort was the pigs from the sea. The Battle of Okinawa wiped out pig farming on the island. In response, seven Jikuen members sailed with others to bring 550 pigs to Okinawa in 1948. The live pigs were distributed to families through a lottery system. This effort was instrumental in rebuilding Okinawa's pig farming industry after the war. To this day, the people of Okinawa remember Hawaii's role in bringing the pigs from the sea to their shores. Jikuen's Buddhist Women's Association was founded in 1941 and reactivated in 1952. Lady Yoshiko Otani, First Lady of the Hongguanji, officiated at the reactivation ceremony. The women of Jikuen have remained the backbone of Jikuen Temple. They work alongside the men in all temple activities. The Buddhist Women's Association continues to generously support the Dharma School and temple activities. The most important way the women of Jikuen support the temple is by providing outstanding leadership. For two generations, all of the temple presidents have been women. In 1961, the city and county of Honolulu expanded the Kali Palama traffic network, and Jikuen was forced to move from its hoftailing location. After negotiating a long term lease with Bishop Estate, the construction on School Street of the new temple, Minister's Residence, and social hall began in 1963. Jikuen opened the doors of its new facilities in August 1964 at the cost of $400,000. Kin organizations such as Hui O Lao Lima and Hui Makaala were invited to use the meeting rooms. Classes in Sanshin, Karate, and Okinawan dance were offered. The connection to the Okinawan community forged by Reverend Shiro Yoshimori and Reverend Yamasato remains strong as Okinawans, members and non-members, contributed to the building fund. In grateful recognition to the larger Okinawan community, the social hall was named Okinawa Memorial Hall. The largest Okinawan stone outside of Okinawa was brought to Jikuen by the United States Navy and placed at the main entrance in 1965. It commemorates the 65th anniversary of the Okinawan immigration to Hawaii. Engraved on its surface, Chikai Kete translates as, All within the four seas are brothers. It was written by Dr. Nobumoto Ohama, president of Waseda University. The dedication of the stone was a large community affair attended by Mayor Neil Blaisdell, Lieutenant Governor William Richardson, legislators, and military leaders. In 1981, Reverend Shika Yoshimori, the son of the founder, Reverend Shiro Yoshimori, became Jikuen's third resident minister. 
Reverend Shikai Yoshimori spent his first seven years solidifying and building the temple's programs. His greatest challenge came in 1988 as he was planning Jikwen's 59th anniversary. Bishop Estate announced that it was raising Jikwen's rent from $5,000 a year to $5,000 a month. After much intense bargaining with Bishop Estate, Jikwen was given the opportunity to purchase the property for $1 million. Following three and a half years of frenetic fundraising by members, most of whom were retired and on fixed incomes, combined with the generous contributions from families, friends, other temples, businesses, and community organizations, Jikuen successfully purchased the temple property for $1.08 million in 1991. In 1996, Reverend Yoshimori ended his tenure at Jikuen to become the 14th Bishop of Hompa Hongwanji Mission of Hawaii. He was the first Bishop of Okinawan descent. Reverend Akinori Morii, originally from Japan, became Jikuen's interim minister in 1996. During his two-year tenure, temple improvements included renovations to accommodate air conditioning for the Hondo and a new sound system. Reverend Bruce Nakamura, a local-born minister, began his tenure in 1998. Jikuen enjoyed renewed spirit of Ohana under his leadership. The Hondo became a multi-purpose area with movable chairs and tiled flooring. He strengthened Jikuen's ties with the community and with Okinawan groups. After seven years at Jikuen, Reverend Nakamura left for the Big Island to serve as a minister at Hilo Bitsuing. Reverend Shindo Nishiyama arrived with his wife Susie, daughter Shana, and son Skyler as resident minister in 2005. Reverend Nishiyama is known for sharing the Dharma with humor, clarity, and sincerity. His personal, open, and accepting ways continue to make Jikuen a welcoming place for all. Members enjoy his beautiful singing especially when he sings Uchinanchu songs at Jikuen's social gatherings. Most recently, Reverend Nishiyama joined with temple leaders and launched a $1 million capital campaign that has funded critical building projects, including the elevator lift, which was dedicated in July 2021. Jikuen has existed for 83 years because of all the people who believe in the good work it does. To those who have given life to Jikuen, we say, Ipe Nife Deberu. Thank you to all who have worked so hard to achieve the dream of making Jikuen a place of spiritual sustenance, a place for Okinawan culture, a place for the entire community, regardless of religion, color, and gender to come together in joy. Shikai Kete, within the four seas, all are brothers and sisters.